My new Caledonian food adventure has taken me to the stunning Isle of Pines. And for an unforgettable holiday, this is the place to be. But there's one thing you can't miss, and that's the local culture. Over the years, I've been lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time in the South Pacific. I absolutely love it. It's a fascinating place. But exploring the traditional Melanesian Kanak culture of New Caledonia, that was a bit of an eye-opener, particularly the way they go about cooking their food. It was really interesting. All I thought I'd do is I'd take some of their ideas and some traditional French flavours and bring both parts of New Caledonia together in one dish. So the challenge is to get my ingredients. Bon, c'est pour mettre the legume or the meal. I think I know what I'm buying here. I'm after the star fruit because they're going to be great for my dessert, and the honey will be a good finishing touch too. Oh, I just love markets, and I hope my steamed chocolate pudding and banana leaves will be a real hit with the locals too. The thing you're going to love most about this recipe is just how easy it is to cook. Seriously, from the time you start mixing to the time you start cooking, five minutes, and that's if you're going slowly. First up, grab yourself a bowl, and into that you want 180 grams of really soft butter. It can even be melted if you want. Then 200 grams of caster sugar, a couple of eggs, and a bit of that vanilla that was grown just up the road. This is some of the most extraordinary vanilla I've ever tried in my life. It's worth traveling here just to try that, if nothing else. All right, we'll give that a bit of a whisk. Then when it's smooth, we'll add 200 mils of milk and whisk again. Anyone among you who's a bit of an experienced baker is probably looking at this and going, oh, what's he done? It's a mess. He's ruined it. Well, actually, this is a bit of a trick, something I'm looking for, because this separation is what allows the chocolate pudding to get its unique texture, a dry layer and a creamy layer. So all we need to do is to bind together with our dry ingredients, 75 grams of cocoa, 75 grams of plain flour, and a little bit of baking powder, sift it in and stir. There can actually be some small hazards to sifting flour and cocoa in a slight tropical breeze. You wear half your desserts. And of course, our last ingredient. Probably not surprisingly, it's dark chocolate, 75 grams worth. I'm going to grate it pretty finely. Using these microplanes are great. From time to time, a big bit's going to fall off. Don't worry about it. Nobody's going to be disappointed because they find a giant chocolate chunk in their dessert. You're going to make friends that way, like that one. All right, once it's stirred through, we can let it sit. Let me show you how to make a baking dish. Now, if you don't happen to have a banana leaf near where you live, you can just use some nonstick paper and some foil instead. So two or even three layers, and the trick is make sure they go in cross directions, and then simply fold in the corner, and we can secure that with one of these very traditional bits of timber I carved. No, it's a toothpick. Pop it through like so, and it's the first corner. It's ready to go. And what you end up with is these really cool banana leaf boats. Now, this mixture will make four puddings, so a quarter of the mix goes into the bowl. And then we're going to steam that over a really gentle fire for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's just firm. Meanwhile, I'll knock up a fruit salad. The selection I've got is absolutely spot on all the things I love. Bit of papaya, pineapple, star fruit. Then there's a the pomelo, which is a kind of a grapefruit. And, of course, it wouldn't be finished without some coconut. That really is a good-looking salad. Look at those puddings. Well, our chocolate pudding is brilliant, and the fruit salad works perfectly. One last thing, though. Remember that local honey we bought at the market? It's a little drizzle of this over the top. It's going to finish it perfectly with that sweetness and perfume. It's a great result. Hey, guys, thank you so much for your hospitality and your generosity. It's been wonderful visiting with you. This cake, Kanak Technique, French flavours. Very tasty. Look, to everyone who has made possible our trip to New Caledonia, thank you so very much. This wonderful time we've had over the last two weeks. You know, the people here are incredible, the sights are incredible, and the food, uh, it's unforgettable. Good morning. <laughs> Very good. I don't know where my next adventure is going to take me, but could it be possible anywhere as beautiful as this? I doubt it. This place is spectacular.